Hey, what's up? Chews here. What's going on, Chewbies? Video number two. This is a gum chewing video, and I'm going through um, some more of my uh, vinyl uh, album collection. Um, a few people have asked me to do uh, a second one of these. Um, these are old albums, and um, some of them have, you know, little stories to them, and I'll try to remember what I can as I go along. I'm chewing on. Double mint, Ridley's double mint, and I'll just get started. So the album that's uh, in the thumbnail is this guy, "A Funk You Up" by the Sequence, um, 1979. So this was um, they were known as the Sugar Hill Girls, as it came out the same year as uh, the Sugar Hill Gang's "Rappers Delight." But they were known as the Sugar Hill Girls, but their actual name was called The Sequence. And this was their big hit, Funk You Up. Um, so Dr. Dre's Keep the Heads Ringing, that ring, ding, dong, ring, a ding, 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 dong, that comes from this. Also, Erica Badu's remix of Love of My Life with Common and the remix we had Queen Latifah and the Brad, I think, and Bahamadia. Um, they, it contains an interpolation of this record. I used to love this late the logo because it was like candy. Okay. I really want to sing passages from it, but I can't. Even older, even though I bought this in apparently in 1994 was when I bought this, but I had bought it or had it as a kid. Um, this is a uh, record called Le Spank by a group called La Pample Mousse. It is, you can see, it's old as hell. It might even be my original copy. <laughs> but no, um, my, this little pink is a little note that I wrote because I um, knew someone at the time who was a um, DJ. And I wanted him to make me a... Uh, no, this wasn't... I, I don't know. I think it might have been a friend of mine that I wanted to record these on uh, onto a cassette for me because I didn't have a turntable. But anyway, I said something like the vinyl surface looks kind of bad, but the last time I played it, I don't recall any major skipping issues. I would like to have both tracks copy. Yeah, the other track was a song called Monkey See, Monkey Do. But La Spank was the big hit. That's a hot. That's Oh, that's a jam. These are not in any particular order either. So this is the first rock album I ever bought. The Jay Giles Band, Freeze Frame. I love that song. And um, Centerfold is on here, as well as a track called Flamethrower. They used to play on uh, black radio stations, as well as pop radio. I loved when albums had the lyrics to them. I so love that. And um, I remember watching American Bandstand when they um, they had a make or break it or is it a hit or is it a miss or, you know, how they used to do on that show. And the, the song was Freeze Frame. Now, I heard, you know, Cinefold was already a hit, but I didn't have an album yet. When I heard Freeze Frame for the first time on that show, being featured, I ran out and bought this album. And this is the same album. So this was 1981. That's how long I've had this album. Okay. Culture Club, you guys know I'm a Culture Club fan. Um, this was from Secondhand Tunes. $6 for this. It's a I'm Afraid of Me extended dance mix. Oh. This I bought some time after the fact. And um you know what I liked about them? This was the period when they were really very new wave. Um and they just had a unique look about them. They didn't look like Duran, they didn't look like Spandau. These symbols that they wore, you know, all the, 
I think it was made by a particular um some woman, I forget I think her name might have been Sue Close. I'm not um sure. But um very singular, unique look. This was when they were in New Wave band. Okay. Now I had this before, but I rebought it from somewhere. I don't know where. I was a huge Sister Sledge fan. This is the All American Girls album. I like the back cover too. From the pink, we got Joni, Kim, Kathy, who was the primary lead singer, and Debbie. This had All American Girls. He's just a runaway. Next time you'll know, music makes you feel good, which is one of my. That's probably one of my favorites off of this album. And this did have lyrics to it. Oh. oh. Okay. There are the lyrics. Yeah, classic album. Scritti Politti. This was um, from 1988. The single, this is a remix, um, an extended version of a track called Boom, There She Was. And um, it's really sad that Green Garside doesn't make music as much as he used to or should. Um, I love Scritti Politti to pieces. There is some Scritti Politti coming up in here, I believe. But... Um, This single was okay, but the reason for me to buy this was of the B-side that was not on that on the album that it came from. It was a song called A World Come Back to Life. Oh, oh I would listen to that song on repeat. And you can't stream it. It needs to be available on Spotify, but it's not. Anyway, moving on. Because I got a lot to get through. Um... I used to always love this album cover. Stacy Lattisaw. The album's called Sneaking Out. And I love the back too. <laughs> That's her little brother Jerry, I guess. Look at her little outfit. So this album was um I think Hey There Lonely Boy was a she did a cover of that. Well, her, ver her version was Lonely Boy. But the reason I bought this was for a track called Attack of the Name Game. And um, Mariah Carey, I think it might have been Honey. One of her songs borrows or is an interpolation of Attack of the Name Game. I can't sing it for you, but if you're watching this, maybe you can you find it on YouTube and hear what I'm talking about. This was a hot, that was a hot song for 1982, I believe. Was this 82? Yep, 1982. And um, there were no lyrics to this one. Uh, and this is one of my club songs. Nicole Willis, Jazzy, Your Love Makes Me Feel Jazzy, which I cannot find uh, streamed anywhere. I wanted side A, track one, and side B, track two, which was the jazz to jouse mix. And then side A, track one, was the underground vocal mix. I couldn't find it. Last, I tr last time I tried looking on YouTube for it, I couldn't find either of these mixes. I will try again, but... I would love to have them. Now, more of my club days. You, we're gonna come across a lot of these. This is a woman named Lonnie Gordon, and the song was called Bad Mood. And the reason to own this, these are all remixes, of course. I'll show you the inside first before I. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get, a, get her, okay. Lonnie Gordon. The reason to own this is for that. Red and green. I adored that. It's almost Christmassy. 
Um, I wanted, um, it's so funny that I only wanted um, two tracks off of this um, re uh, put on tape for me because there were 10 remixes. But um, this was a hot tune for the time. What did I want? Um, track three, the MK, MK, Masters at Work, bass hit dub, yep. Mark Kenshin. I tell you, I've mentioned him before. Anytime there was an MK remix, I had to have it. Masters at Work as well. More house music. This was what you would, so this song is called Off, well, it's by George Morrell on the Strictly Rhythm Records label. And um, I bought this for a track called Officer Where's Your Brother, Get Ha. This was what was known as Drag Queen House. I was not a drag queen, but I liked this one at the time. More house music. Chicago's own Kashmir. This was, um, I think this was just another alias he was working under, working happily. Um, this song was called Feel It. This was the one I bought. There were a few, there were a few mixes on this that I liked a lot. Um, yeah, there are only four mixes, but um, most of these were really good. I'm not doing it justice. Anyway. The Queen. One of my queens. Madonna. Open Your Heart. Uh, the extended version. I'll show you the back. I bought this used long after the fact. The uh, extended version is like 10 minutes long. I believe. Am I right about that? Yeah, it's like ten and a half minutes long. Decent song. Okay. This group had a song called I Got My Education that I really loved. Uh, they're called Uncanny Alliance. But this one is called I'm Beautiful, Damn It. Bette Midler would do a remake of it. I think maybe a year or two later. I don't know what happened to these guys, but uh, I like their vibe. More pink notes of stuff that I wanted. I don't know who was going to record this stuff for me, but I got my education was a hot tune. Calling all cause, calling all cause. Be on the lookout for the sons of bitches that bootlegged my record. That's how I got my education. That's how one of the remixes started. Good times. Um... Oh my God, 13 minutes. Okay. This is Nana Cherry, a track called Buddy X. I bought it for the Masters at Work remix. There's a remix on here that features Notorious B.I.G. as well. I'm trying to get through these as quick as I can. Y'all forgive the, the uh, quality. I told you these were old. So I bought this because this was a bootleg version of a Sade tune. I think the tune was called Pearls. You know, Sade did not like house mixes of their stuff at all. They never commissioned their music for house mixes. So someone did a, a house mix of, um, I think it was Pearls from the um, Love Deluxe album. And uh, they used to play it in the clubs a little bit. And this was, oh, it's dirty too. And this was um, what I liked. Okay, so this has a little, uh, this woman, her name is Liz Torres. Song is called Set Yourself Free. I didn't forget how it went, but she was at a club one night at one of the clubs I used to, you know, go dancing to. It was probably like a Tuesday night and she was signing, giving away her album and she signed it for me. It says to Troy up here. And then it says, I'll drain every ounce of your love. Love, Liz Torres. I'll set you free. 
Mm. You can see that in there. So yeah, that's the story to that one. And the story to this one. One side is a side called a uh, Zudu by Umbra. And the other side of this, it's a it's a 33 and a third. It's just a shorter album. But um the other side is a track called uh Zombie by Samba Nation. Isn't that a cute little little album? I'll turn the other side so you can see it. But anyway, the story with this is one of the guys that uh did one of these tracks was a guy I used to work with. His name is Jordan Roseman. I used to work with him um, at a video store. And uh, I remember when this came out in 94. And um, I think I just went out. I think I went out and bought it. I don't know if he gave it to me. But um, I was trying to find him. But luckily for me, I looked on Spotify last night. And the, his song, which is the one I like the most, uh, Zudu, uh, Jordan's song, is on Spotify. So I was happy to uh, find that out. Some songs off of this one was on Spotify too. Todd Terry's Quiero Saber. Quiero Saber. Mm -hmm. By the Latin Kings. That was a good song. Um, Nervous Records is a very uh, popular, or at least it once was, uh, dance music label. Classic album. I listened to this last night. Adam Ant, friend or foe. I listened to this last night on Spotify and read along, you know, with the lyrics. This album is from beginning to end something good. I, don't, I, I, I only dislike two tracks. Hello, I Love You, which is a cover of The Doors, which I never liked anyway. And um, an instrumental called Man Called Marco. But otherwise, you got... Five good songs on the first side and five good ones on the second side. 1982. This is a classic, classic album. Adamant, friend or foe. So if you want to know the type of shit that Shoes used to listen to, that, you know, that really, you know, made me smile and made me happy, you can start with this one. Michael Jackson Thriller. Forgive this messiness right here. Knowing me, it might have been a food stain, but... Um, thriller album and this is my original copy this used to bother me right here see that see see the them veins and that uh, that used to bother me all the time it's like damn why are your veins sticking out like that um i had the lyrics in here too but it's all gone oh there's one page of lyrics in here. The other page is missing. Come on, please. Trying to get through with this. The Electric Dreams soundtrack. Remember the movie Electric Dreams, anyone? From 1984? Culture Club was on this. That's why I got it. And uh, Giorgio Moroda with uh, Philip Oakley from um, Human League, Together in Electric Dreams. About Edgar the Computer. There he is at the bottom. I got this from Rolling Stone Records for $8.50. Still in the packaging. Look at that. Pa look at it. Look at it. I've had it for years. Again, you know I'm a Culture Club fan. One of these albums that... Ran out and bought it with my own little money. Waking up with the house on fire. It did not sell well. Had the lyrics to it. This is the back of it. I loved it for the war song. But it, it might have ruined their career. <laughs> Another album in perfect condition. Let me say since they... Um, Tina Turner, private dancer with the legs. Uh, all the men come in these places, and the men are all the same. 
That's my Tina for you. Okay. Again, you want to know an album where that choose used to love as a teenager that would listen to it religiously? Scritty Politi, Cupid and Psyche 85. If you try to go online on Spotify and listen to this album, their big hit off of this was The Perfect Perfect Way. But the version that's on Spotify is some type of demo sh- bullshit. It's not this version. But they had hits like would be hypnotized. Absolute. The Word Girl. These were mostly hits in England and then the dance charts here. A, a couple of them. But this was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful album. Nine songs of just pure gold. This was the... Mm, you can't see it. This was the band. And they got the lyrics on the other side. But they're written across, though. But this was a wonderful, wonderful album. Cupid and Psyche 85. Uh, it's pretty politic. I feel like I'm... Oh, get in there, baby. Get in there. Come on. Do me right. I ain't got that much time. I gotta go live. I don't know how late the live gonna be. If anybody's gonna be up. What you gonna do when you get out of jail? I'm gonna have some fun. Tom Tom Club. I bought this for Genius of Love, of course. But um, Wordy Rapping Hood is another really good one off of this, too. Okay. Um, soul to Soul. Keep on moving, don't stop, no. Keep on moving. I bought this for the Teddy Riley Rub-A-Dub version that they used to play a lot. I think all the versions of this are pretty decent, though. And for two forty nine, this is. Uh, I think my brother bought this or got this for Christmas, and I think this um, is the same album. So we've had this for many, many years. Queen's greatest hits. Me and my cousin used to. Oh, we used to tear this album up listening to. Of course, we all love another one by the Dust, but Bohemian Rhapsody. Man, when we heard that, ooh, child. That was our shit. And crazy little thing called love. And she's a killer queen. We will rock you. Ooh, flash. Ah, the view of the universe. Play the game. Bicycle race. Ooh, Lord, just chock full of hits. We are the champions. Okay, let's go to this one. Now. This group is called Ethel Meat Plow. I don't know if they're from Australia or where the hell they're from, but they were an alternative band. We did not know that at the time. Our first or my first exposure to them was this remix. It was an MK remix, of course, of a song called Queenie. Um, <laughs> this song is one of my favorite house music songs ever. Partly because the lyrics are so dark. Talking about fucking bitch, cunt, fucking death, queenie death, till we die, till we die, till we're dead, till we're dead. Who have you chosen to bury the dead? It's just something that you wouldn't find yourself dancing to on the dance floor. But when you hear it, go on YouTube and find the MK remix of this song. This was the shit that me and my squad used to love. Okay. When I gave all of my love to you. Of course, that wasn't the hit off of here, but I just, every time I see it, I want to sing it. Okay. This is the classic album. That's the photo. Let me just show you what it's like. Mm -hmm. The beautiful and gorgeous Diana Ross. This has Upside Down and I'm Coming Out. Produced by Nile Rogers and uh, Bernard Edwards from Chic. Eight songs of pure gorgeousness. Great album from 1980. Upside down. 
Okay, this has a story to it. Jesus loves you. This was Boy George's um, moniker for his more protein label. So when he was getting into like, well, not getting into dance music, but it was his dance music label. And he went under this moniker, Jesus Loves You. When he performed at the, um, I'm not chewing enough gum, am I? I'm sorry, y'all. When he performed at the Bistro in the 90s, that's when this track, Generations of Love, came out. Um, I brought this with me, and some drag queen went back to the uh, dressing room and I guess had him sign it. Um, I would like to think that he signed it. Um, it just says, Boy George Loves You. I was in the front, standing at the foot of the stage um, that night at that show. And he pointed me out, too. And inside here is a little... It has some of the people that recorded for the label, like MC Kinky, Eve Gallagher. It talks about some of the songs released off of the label. And there's Jeremy Healy, who used to be in uh, Hazy Fantasy. And uh, this is a rapper, uh, Amos, Jamaican rapper or whatever. I have to show y'all that one. Salt and Pepper starred me up from the um, Stay Tuned soundtrack. Donna Summer, The Wanderer. Cause I'm a wanderer. That was the only hit off of this one. I bought it cheap somewhere. Ooh, oh, I need, ooh, oh, I, can you hear it? You know, that's the song. It's actually called Brighter Days. And the version that you you should know that version after I sang it, um, that was the Underground Goodies uh, mix. Cashmere, Chicago Zone, featuring Daje. That was the Underground Goodies mix. But I don't know what anyone ever called it because it seemed like nobody ever called it Brighter Days. It was the Underground Goody mix. This is a two record uh, vinyl set, very coveted. I've got it for $9 in uh, 1993, apparently. Hmm. Irene Cara, Why Me, Flash Dance, Break Dance. Come on through, Irene. Break dancing, break out. This is a good album. I got another salt and pepper in here. It's a two record set. This is more Drag Queen House. I tried to find it yesterday, but didn't have much success on Spotify. Uh, a woman called S Sweet Pussy Pauline. The song was called The Walk. If you're a house music head, you have heard this track sampled. She basically just talks through it. And I cannot repeat the stuff that she says in it. Um, in People, Open Your Heart. Our Armand's beat down. What is it called? The Armand's Indian beat down mix. That's the one you want to look for from this one. It's hot from '95. Ooh, Susie, Susie and the Banshees uh, picture disc. It's a limited edition of 2,000 copies, of which I have one, and I got it for seven bucks. And that's the other side of it. I'll put, turn it that way. Wonderful. Oh, shoot. Okay. This video is probably too long. I love Tony Basil. This is um from her second album. The, track, the lead track off here was called Over My Head. I love this album. But again, not on Spotify. Can't be straight. Oh my God. Okay. I have to do this one. Okay. Yes. This was something that I found I probably in the White Elephant. Uh, for dirt cheap, I don't know how much I paid for it, but I know it had to be dirt cheap. 
children's favorites. My cousin, my little cousin at the time had um, had this album. I'm sorry about that. And I remember loving some of these songs. I know it's silly. Shortening Bread, Polly Wally Doodle. Oh, by, it's sung by Larry Groch, Gross and the Disneyland Children Sing Along Chorus. Oh, Lord, but the Animal Fair is not on here. I went to the Animal Fair. The birds and the bees were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his arm and hair. I, it's not on here. But anyway, yeah, I didn't know I had this. I was looking through this and was really surprised that I still owned it. Bingo, I like that a B I N G O. <laughs> I know. Anyway, let's move on. I'm almost done, y'all. This is an album that I won off of a radio station, B96 here in Chicago. I wasn't trying to win it, but I happened to be the right caller and thought I would, you know, be winning something else. But this has a track called Sea of Love. This was the 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 Honey Drippers was um uh Robert Plant and I don't know who else. Robert Plant and uh, somebody else. I don't know who, but um, Rockin' at Midnight and Sea of Love were the big ones from this. It's only five songs. It's only five tunes. But yeah, I won this. And what was it, 85 or 86? Maybe even 84. Well, 1984. I still had it. And the last one, another Michael Jackson. This is probably a... I don't know why Michael Jackson had a food stains on it. That's probably a food stain. I'm not sure, but the bad album. So here's the thing. B96, once again, before this album was released, B96 played the whole thing on the radio station. And I recorded that sucker. And I would walk down the street and my with my Sony Walkman playing it like a religion. I said, you're talking about like Basically, seven tracks on here that were all major hits. Liberian Girl was like an album cut. They got a little radio airplay. But I love Speed, Damon, and Just Good Friends, and they weren't released as singles, but yeah, just a classic, classic album. I'm getting any better than that. So I hope y'all enjoyed me going through my old ass record collection. <laughs> Um, I would suggest if you were interested in any and hearing how any of these records sound, go on YouTube, preferably because, you know, Spotify don't, Spotify is kind of bootleg. They don't really have a whole lot of stuff, but, um, go on YouTube and try to find some of these. If y'all did record collections, I would like write down the artist and whatever you all were talking about. And then I try to find them later because I'm always looking for new stuff to put in my uh, playlist. So or old stuff that's new to my ears. Anyway, this is going on way too long. And believe it or not, I'm going to try to do a live after I upload this. Wish me luck. See y'all later. Bye.